Developing a design phase for a mentoring mobile application. My name is Haroldino Cochiralto. A mobile application is a type of delivery format designed for offline viewing of learning material for students on mobile devices. In the field of mentoring, there are not many applications designed exclusively for mobile devices that try to facilitate the communication between mentors and mentees. This exercise shows us the e-mentoring application. Requirements to design our mobile application. There are four fundamental phases in the creation of e-mentoring application. The first phase is definition and requirements. The following actions were taken for this phase. Definition. E-mentoring app is defined as a support tool for university students. Brainstorming. The primary ideas in order to investigate more about mentoring and other apps. Competitive analysis. It was focused on the characteristics of the application, the functionality, and the purpose. Problem identification. This step helps us to define the most important findings, such as user experience, quality, and the gap in mentoring. Using interface perspective, the user interface for the e-mentoring app will be accomplished specific indications. User profiles. Two persona profiles were created. They are fictional characters that represents real participants' needs, feelings, and the common behavior patterns. Journal experience. We create an intense emotional experience searching for a mentor using an app. User flow chart. With the necessary steps to search mentor information. Matching process with the mentors, user experience, and user profile creation, among others. Here is the example profiles that we create. The first one is the persona as a mentor and then the persona as a mentee. Phase 2, the user experience and the workflow design application. In this one, we create the sketch and one frame and also mockups. Phase 3 graphic design. At this stage the wireframes and the mockups are handed over to the graphic designer who is responsible for the creation of each individual design asset. The following actions were taken in place. A-B testing. Usability tool that allows us to make evaluation with the real visitors of our app to objectively measure the best design among several alternatives. Compliance with ISO 25000. There are standards that aim to create a common framework for assessing the quality of software products. Phase 4. Development. During this phase, the style guide is given to the developer. If it's not until the development stage, month after the initial conception, that the application receives its functionality utility. Up to this point, development progress has been largely communicated through abstract concepts and static images. 